Hi everybody, I'm Jim, the Hippie Redneck Geek. Uh, when I bought my truck here and put on this uh, shell, it made it a little difficult to get in and get items in and out of the bed, uh, especially with this being a four-wheel drive. It's quite a ways up to the bumper, and so I needed a way to be able to get things in and out of the bed. And so I created this basically a rolling bed frame here for to get things in and uh, out of the truck. It um, can support a little bit of weight, but I would not use it for more than, you know, a few hundred pounds. I would not use it for, you know, s several thousand pounds or anything like the bed capacity. It would be usable for a couple hundred pounds. And since I built this here, I've actually gone to a commercial bed system in the truck but I needed this at the time before I was a uh, I found anything that I liked and uh, this worked very well for a couple of years before I switched out to a commercial system so I'm gonna go through this a little bit and show a little bit about how I built this unfortunately I don't have a lot of pictures on this so it's going to be a bit of uh, discussion as I go through each of the pictures on this here. So, uh, oh, my screen went blank. I don't know what happened. Why did that change? Let me try this again. Okay, I am going to, I had a minor problem there, and I am going to pick up from here and try this again. Uh, we'll go back here. So I'm going to explain to the, to, as I go through the pictures, what I did here. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of pictures when I was building this. Uh, this was kind of built by the seat of my pants as I went along. I'm going to start with this right here. So basically what I did was I created, so this is uses uh, two pieces of plywood. I do believe this was 5 8 inch plywood that I use, uh, CDX. Um, but the first part is a, a four by eight sheet of plywood in the bed of the truck. Then using two two by fours here. Um, two two by fours here attached. And two two by fours in the center attached. Two two by fours over here to the side here, all the way over the side here attached. Um, the uh, rollers here, these roller, uh, these are just, um, what do you call them, um, casters. These are just uh, flat ca just flat casters here set up uh, in a line here, perfectly in line here. Uh, set here, uh, I don't think they have a lot of capacity, maybe a hundred, a couple hundred pounds a piece, uh, but... I wouldn't use this for more than a couple hundred pounds anyway, as I said earlier. So these are spaced out, I believe, at uh, a foot apart. I mean, uh, yeah, a foot apart from each other. Uh, six inches from the end, six inches from the end. It makes eight foot, I guess. So they're set a foot apart from each other. Uh, and this... These two by fours over here that are um, these two by fours that are sitting here to the side here, these two by fours here, and these two by fours here, and these inner two by fours over here are uh, actually part of the next piece, as you see uh, over on the, the second picture here. So, this is actually two pieces in one. The first piece, as you can see. In, as it's here in the truck here is just the two by fours with the, these rollers in here. And the second piece is this frame that slides in between those rollers and um, is uh, my phone is over here making noises. Uh, this slides in between uh, the pieces. And uh, I'm still having issues here. Okay, I'm back again. I don't know why this came, 
keeps blacking out on me, but uh, I'll hopefully I'll figure this out and get through this. So, as you can see here, I've got the um, second place, uh, second, got the pieces in here. Uh, this is this next one uh, uh, in place here. Then over here, I have the second sheet of plywood. Uh, it's going to roll in on top of this here. Uh, make sure everything fits in here. I just this is just a fit in here. It shows how this is going to roll in on here on the the systems here. Uh, as I said, I was doing this kind of building as I uh, went along, and you can see my uh, cat. At least one of my cats love to help here a bit, uh, getting uh, muddy cat prints all over my truck here while I'm doing this. Uh, so. The um, these two parts here, the slides parts here, interlock, uh, inter slide in together, and then the top piece will slide in on top of that. And so now we've got that piece that was uh, sliding in. We have uh, we've I've added in uh, casters here on it. So this piece right here will have caster has got casters as well so that whenever the top part rolls out whenever this is slid out the top part rolls out it'll be able to roll off of the piece inside of the truck all the way out to the piece outside of the truck and underneath this here is the the part that I'm building that goes on top of it um, as I said that was testing the order of this here is really kind of poorly done here in the in the way my pictures were but this uh, shows the inner slide that slides in and out or uh, through the the part that's uh, stationary inside the bed uh, this is just shows another picture of it here uh, with the caster it shows the caster so whenever it's pulled out to its full length uh, full length of uh, seven foot approximately uh, you need to pull it out any further than that you look you're going to have trouble getting it back together. Uh, it gives uh, basically six foot of it completely past the uh, end of the um, tailgate, and you can reach basically everything that's in that was on this year from either side of the tailgate. So here we have the um, the inner slide put back in place here with all the um, casters on it, and you see they're pretty lined up right all the way side by side, all the way down. Uh, and there's just a just a small gap here, a uh, small gap created there, just to uh, make sure that uh, that whenever it closes up that there's not uh, uh, that uh, that uh, it uh, can actually close all the way in and here is the top piece that is working on it um, this is one by three I believe it is these are one by threes that I framed out that uh, fit uh, so it's uh, set on the edges here that which was that goes on the outside of the rollers then these frames these pieces are framed frame out so that it goes the inside of the roller and inside of the roller and part of the reason for these pieces right here is to stiffen it up so that it lays flat uh, when it's uh, put down this ends uh, end up being all glued in and screwed down glued and screwed uh, to make this here uh, very stiff and um, and not move uh, so as you can see over here on this side here I've really started getting it uh, everything glued down and screwed into place um, and this basically these these areas here right here here right here and over here that's the parts that will go um, where the 
um, casters are on the other piece. This is a, this is actually looking at it from the bottom side. It'll get flipped over and put into place onto top of the casters. And so here it is, uh, completed, half rolled halfway out, um, well, rolled rolled out completely all the way out, and rolled halfway out to showing showing different places. The I didn't show building the um, end piece here. Uh, this piece here is just to base, just uh, cut the the height of it would be coming out. Unfortunately, if the if you're not on level ground, this did make it so that this. The, the, this you could end up with this being up or down so if you're not on level ground this is a bit difficult here to to use uh, but basically uh, the if you look right here this is the end of the inner slide and it's set over on top of uh, a two, uh, block two by four here that is just on a two by four and then just braced here just to keep it from um, racking and uh, so it just sets over onto these blocks right here uh, and uh, this um, is tall enough to prevent the plywood from from uh, coming all the way past uh, going so you can't roll it all the way out past it so it'll stop right there uh, when you get to it so um, this shows a little, a little bit more as the open side, as you can see, where that slide, this is the slide put in here, and it just puts it set into place here on to the blocks here. And uh, I loved this here. It was a great uh, little project. As you, here's a, you can see right here, too, where, where this here right here, where you can see right there where the... Um, that gap was like it created so it rolls on the uh, the, the rollers ro roll through there and that gap is wide enough to cover both uh, on the end at each end uh, co cover both sets of uh, casters and part of the reason why you don't want this didn't want this here to come out past so the uh, the casters here so then your casters that are side by side the last caster on the inside one and the last caster of the slide out one are side by side that way you don't get end up getting this off track whenever you roll it back in it stays in line and uh, it tracks perfectly forward and backwards in and out of the truck um, so this was a fun project and uh, it lasted me several years before I took it out put in a commercial version uh, and it would have lasted uh, considerably longer but I no longer needed it so I took it apart and used these parts for other projects later on uh, but uh, this was a uh, uh, this is a fun project that I uh, built here um, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this here uh, if you did please uh, click click bleh, let me try this again please click subscribe and uh, uh, click the notification bell for the next video and uh, hope to see you soon.